All right, guys, Matt here with TNM Product Reviews, coming back at you with another review. We got another Olight. This one's a little different than the rest, though. This is Olight's ballpoint pen. In in actual terms, this is Olight's Open Two. So this is their second version, I guess you want to call it. They had some issues with the first uh, the first version they put out. They had some issues with the cartridges leaking. So they redesigned it, and this is the one that I got. So I got it in the copper, and it has the, this is actually the lockout mode. So when it's locked out, it has a little red light on the top there. So it does. It, it's their ballpoint pen with a flashlight built in. Obviously, it's an Olight. It's got to have some kind of flashlight in it. So let's switch over to the tabletop here, and we'll go over this one. All right, guys, give me just a minute. We'll be right back with you. Alright guys, so this is the outside for the O-Pen 2, and I actually have it blocked out right now, so I'll show you here in the dark. Whoop, sorry about that. There's that lockout showing you that you can't activate the light. So when you first turn it on, it's going to be 5 lumens. Now, I, it's a very wide light, so you can... You can't really see much. Let me see if I can turn you towards the house here a little bit more. See if it'll reflect off the house. Yeah, you can kind of see it there. So that's going to be 5 lumens that'll run for 10 hours. Hold the button down. Now you're going to 20 lumens that'll run for 140 minutes. So you can really start seeing things now. And let me see if I turn just enough here. Might be able to start seeing down the alleyway now a little bit okay so next step up is 60 lumens like I said the light dispersal on this is a lot wider so it's harder to see long range this isn't gonna you're not gonna see this out far uh, last step is 120 lumens and this is gonna run for 20 minutes this is your top level right here so as you can see you can see the house real nice and you can kind of start seeing down the alley a little bit there. All right, guys, that's all I have for the outside portion. We'll see you back on the tabletop. All right, guys, so let's actually take a look here at the O-Pen 2. Uh, so as you can see, obviously I have the copper version of the O-Pen 2. And if I flip it around here, you can see the engravings on it. So... Open 2 on that side, Olight on this side, and a really nice pocket clip with a security bit so you can't just take it off. A lot of people have actually been putting tritium down inside the pocket clip there I've seen on some of the mod pages. Uh, so this is the copper version of the Open 2. Uh, for this one, weight wise, you're looking at 2.72 ounces. They have two other versions. Of the Open 2, they both weigh in at 1.34 ounces. Uh, the overall length is 5.7 inches. So, just to give you a comparison to one of their normal lights, here's the i5T that we know I like so much. So, a little bit bigger. Not much, but I mean, it's a pen. Come on. Uh, as for the pen itself, so it has a bolt action instead of a click or like your normal top clicker for a pen this one is a bolt action style to open the pen up and you just flip it and it pull back in here uh, the pen is actually two pieces so you have the bottom half which actually has the pen and refill in it and this is a solid copper pen by the way So the refills are actually Olight brand refills. They are gel refills. Uh, they are 0.6, I believe. Um, and you can actually get these free on the Olight website uh, because of the issues that they were having with the last O-Pen. So you just... And just the pen part itself here. Honestly, if you take the light off, it's big enough that you can write with it. And I think that's kind of what the design was, and that's what they show on some of the advertisements for the O-Pen, is you set this piece up, 
you have your your notebook and you can actually still write and this provides light if you're in a darker area so for the light it has a 110 milliamp hour rechargeable lithium polymer battery so it is not removable it actually has a USB-C port to charge it and once you put it back inside the pen there is a little gasket right here to keep it sealed so that the charge port doesn't get damaged. Um, top activated. So you just press it and you get your light turned on. If you press and hold, it'll cycle through the different modes that it has. This is kind of what I was talking about. You, this will freestand on its own and then it'll illuminate your, your writing material and you can sit there and write. Uh, not that most people do that. Still a neat little idea though. And then you just screw the light back together and you have your full pen. Uh, for the copper version, it is heavy. This is real copper as I stated. And if you can, if the camera will pick it up here, you can actually see where mine's starting to patina a little bit, mainly around the light and in the grooves of the pen there. So this, this doesn't have any kind of coating on it, so it will patina over time. Um, as for the different light levels, so when you first turn it on, you're gonna get five lumens, that's gonna run for 10 hours. The next step up is 20 lumens, it'll run for 140 minutes. And then we have 60 lumens, whoops, going too far. 60 lumens that'll run for 50 minutes. And then 120 lumens, and that'll run for 20 minutes. And that's your top beam there. So it's made to disperse the light. Obviously, you're not going to get a throw on this. But for your beam throw, it is 16 meters, 52.5 feet. So, yeah, you're not going to see halfway through the woods. Uh, you're going to see a total of 52 feet, and that's it. It's very max. You're not going to get much further than that. Uh, like I said, you do get re free refills. Um, I have a couple packs of them. You get three in a pack. You just pay $5 for the shipping off of Light's website. Obviously, if you're ordering something, if you're going to order a new light or something from Olight, and you have an open, throw the refills in there. It just makes sense. Uh, the other two options you have for the pen, though, is black and gunmetal gray. So they have copper, black, and gunmetal gray. Those are going to be your three choices for the pen. Uh, keep in mind the black and gunmetal gray are going to be lighter, uh, almost half the weight of the copper. All right, guys, that's all I have for you for the O-Pen 2. Uh, if you like the video, definitely give me a like, comment, hit the subscription button, hit the notification button if you want to be notified when we have any new videos coming up. Uh, definitely have some more coming out here in the near future. But that's all I have for you here today, guys. Later.